Hello, I'm Casey Dinges, Senior Managing Director for the American Society of Civil Engineers. Thanks for joining us today for a discussion on ethics in civil engineering. My guest today is Steve Sterrett, the Dean of Engineering at Letourneau University and also the President of ASC's EWRI Institute. He is the author of Engineering Ethics, Real World Case Studies, which was recently published by ASCE. Welcome, Steve. Thanks, Casey. Concern for and improving the environment is an integral part of ethical practices for engineering. Can you give us an example of an ethical issue around sustainability an engineer might have to face? Yes. Engineering programs around the country and the world have integrated a lot more sustainability topics into their formal educational processes. So engineers, I think, are better trained and better skilled to implement sustainable aspects to projects now than ever before. However, when an engineer designs some sustainability aspects and proves that it improves the, the project, it may result in an additional cost up front for the initial construction of the project. Some clients will refuse any sort of additional cost that's above and beyond any sort of regulatory requirement. And so that that puts pressure back on the engineer to reduce the sustainability of a project and what they what they wish would happen. So that's all happening at the design phase though where the, the uh, you're you're you know informing the owner as, as soon in the process as you possibly can like hey here's an issue or here's a consideration you may want to take into account. Yes, and the engineers certainly need to champion the reasons behind why they've expanded the project and have implemented those sustainable aspects into the project. With your background as an engineering professor, do you believe ethics can be taught? Yes. We've learned that ethics are core ethics well, from our parents and how we were raised and the environment that we grew up in. As adults, we can advance our ethical understanding and certainly as it relates to our technical engineering profession. We can understand our code of ethics, what the obligation is of our society that society has for engineers, and also being sure to hold paramount the safety, health, and welfare of the public. And that's certainly the number one ethical consideration for civil engineers. Yes. I understand you work with a lot of engineering students and young professionals. What do you think are the most critical ethical challenges faced by younger engineers? Yes, there's a number of different ethical dilemmas that come up for newer professionals. I've taught about 1,000 students now in one of my graduate level courses or through the workshops I provided around the country. It's common to hear a situation where a new professional is pressured to put billable hours on a project that they didn't necessarily directly work on. Some, cu some cultures in business really have no in-house fund to charge hours to and that all all of the billable, all of the hours from an engineer needs to be billable to a project. And so there can be pressure placed on a new professional to put the hours on project B even though they're finishing up on project A. That poses quite a dilemma for a new professional. And how would a young professional deal with a situation like that? The new professional needs to discuss their concerns with the supervisors, with the company leaders how it impacts their quality of work that they're doing as an engineer, how the code of ethics doesn't promote that type of conduct. We are required by our profession to make truthful statements, and certainly some engineers feel quite adamant that billing hours to a project that they didn't work on is not a truthful statement. So when a younger engineer is interviewing with a new firm, let's say, for a job, is this an issue, should this be an issue that that individual presses forward on, you know, at, at, at that part of the hiring process to say, you know, what kind of work culture is this around ethical issues and even bring up the example you pointed out of billable hours? Yes, I think that would be a very interesting conversation for someone that's considering working at an engineering firm to understand the culture and the answers from the leaders will vary. So Steve, tell me, what advice would you give to new professionals? Yes, the importance to maintain their high ethical standards. I was visiting with engineers about ethical case studies that they had encountered through their careers, through their years. One mid-career engineer 
said that he really needed to pay his home mortgage. He had a family to support. He would do anything that the client or a supervisor asked him to do without mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. A person, an engineer near the end of his career, openly stated in the front of this group that would be a big mistake that he would recommend always being able you can always find another job but you can't build another career you can't build another high level reputation that engineers thrive on and required for our profession that sounds like good advice I hope it resonated with other people in the room yes it did in fact the conversation went on for about an hour without me interjecting any comments because engineers were so adamant about the importance of maintaining high ethical standards. So is the ethical threshold to really make sure that you've done your due diligence in informing your client of issues that the, that the client should understand uh, fully, but ultimately it's up to that client to decide which way they want to go? On many aspects, yes. However, the our first canon that's paramount, holding paramount the safety, health, and welfare of the public does rest with the engineer. So if necessary, the engineer has to blow the whistle. Correct. Steve, thank you for joining me today for this informative discussion on engineering ethics. For more information on ASCE's interchange program, visit ASCE.org interchange. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you next time on the ASCE interchange.